Hey lads, today we are using the norm inverse function to run simulations on the New South Wales electorate of Greenway. Now this electorate located in the Sydney western suburbs was contested between the Labor Party represented by Michelle Rowland and the Liberal Party who was represented by Alan Green. Now the Labor Party won this, but today we are going to model using these results the projections for the 2022 Australian election. Alright. So first, we're going to put Labor here, Liberal here. And next to these parties, we'll put the total amount of votes. So 50,425 for Labor and 45,082 for Liberal. Now here we'll put the swing, which will represent the standard deviation in this data set. So, which this is 3.5% either way, so we'll put 0 0.035. Now, we'll get the total number of votes. Okay, so we can't just put 0 0.035 as our standard deviation. We have to put it as a number of votes. So, we'll go number of votes, 95,507 times... 0.035 or 3.5 percent so our standard deviation for our norm inverse function is 3342 votes all right now we'll run a monte carlo simulation and as i drag down these cells i'll be explaining to you how we'll use the norm inverse function so we'll just drag that down a thousand times all right, perfect. So, here we can see the norm inverse function returns the inverse of the normal cumulative distribution for the specified mean and standard deviation. Now, the specified mean, in our case, is each of the number of votes for the two parties. And the standard deviation is the swing, or the swing number of swing votes. So, we'll put this as labour. This is liberal. All right. Now the formula we do norm INV probability. Now because we're running a simulation, each simulation has to be random. So I'll put ran open close bracket the mean. Now the mean number of votes for labor is 50,425. Make sure to absolute reference it. And the standard deviation is this that we calculated. Make sure to reference that. All right. Now, in this instance, in this simulation, Labor got 46,863 votes, or thereabouts. And as we press backspace, the cell refreshes every time. Drag that down a thousand cells. Now, for Liberal, we don't have to do the norm inverse calculation again. We can simply go the amount of votes minus the amount of votes here. Make sure to absolute reference it again. Drag that down. All right. Now we've got all these hypothetical situations. Now we want to calculate Labor's chance of winning the 2022 election. So... We'll go count if our range. Oh, before we do that, before we do that, we'll go if this is more than this. So if Liberal gets more votes than Labor, we will return Liberal as our winner. If not, we'll return Labor. So here we can see Labor gets more votes than Liberal, therefore it returns Labor. Here Liberal, actually, here Liberal actually gets more votes than Labor, so it returns Liberal. Now we can go on to the thing I was going to do before. Count if. So a counting if of this range. Of this range we've highlighted, how many of them 
our labor. And we'll divide it by 1,000, which is the amount of cells we've done, to get a percentage. Enter. So, according to this simulation, labor wins 68, 60, 76 0.8% of the time as we refresh the cell it'll change 77.8 which means labor won 778 times refresh it this time labor won 780 times labor won 788 times labor won 770 times and then for liberal just to just to prove that it's correct the formula we'll do it again we'll go count if Count if the range, which is D5 to D1005, that should be right, yep. Criteria, it's got to be a liberal. Close bracket. Yep, it's correct. We'll change that to a percentage. All right. So each time we do it, we see that on average, yeah, this is a fair representation. Liberals will win 21.2% of the time and Labor will win 78.8% will win of the time. So this means that in the 2022 election, it does look close here, but when we look closer into it, even though the margin of error, is, well, the margin between the two parties isn't that small, Labor only got through by 2.8%, they're four times as likely to get in versus the Liberals. So it's that easy. And I'll do regular videos of these for each electorate. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Goodbye, lads.